In this video, I'll show you how to apply the transformation of your rigid body simulation in Blender so that if you just pause during the simulation, you can make the position of the objects the new default position for those objects. So just for an example, I'll go to the add menu and add a plane and I'll scale up the plane. Then I'll go to the add menu and add a cube and move it up and I'll just scale the cube down. Then I'm gonna to go to the physics properties on the side panel and I'm gonna add rigid body physics to the cube. Then I'm going to select the plane and also add rigid body physics. But on the plane, I'm gonna set the type to passive so it doesn't move. So then what I'm going to do is select the cube and hit shift D to duplicate it and give it a random rotation. So if I press the space bar to play, you can see all the cubes now fall. But let's say I pause the animation right here and I want this to be the new default location of all the objects. So I don't want them to be actually simulated. Well, what I can do is hit the A key to select all the objects. And then I can press control A and I can click on visual transform. So that's going to transform the objects and move them to their current location. Then what I want to do is delete the simulation so it doesn't mess up the location. So with everything still selected, I'm gonna click on object, right down here to rigid body, and then I'm gonna click on remove. And so it's going to remove the rigid body from all of the selected objects. So now if I hit the space bar to play, there's no simulation. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to watch more of my physics and simulation tutorials, I have this playlist here, which you can check out linked in the description, like a plank tower, rigid body physics for beginners, cloth physics for beginners, soft body physics for beginners, and many more tutorials in that playlist. But I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.